We're here today at Twin Bridges, which is not south of South Lake Tahoe. It's Twin Bridges. And we are here at the beautiful Horsetail Falls. It's back there somewhere. No one gives a shit. We'll find it when we get there. It's, it's water. Anyways, we are here today to find the rarest porpoise in the world. It is located right here in that waterfall. You can't see it. I already told you. You can't see that shit. <laughs> but the porpoise is back there. It is, you have all heard, the baby beluga. This isn't just any baby beluga. This rare breed of beluga stays a baby forever. <laughs> and we're going to find it today. Baby I'm here with my bun. other friend, Hi, Bear Grillis. Hi, other friend. <laughs> we're out on the quest to find the new baby beluga. It's still a baby. <laughs> We we gonna find it. Bear, don't you have any camera etiquette whatsoever? Look at my green. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Okay, we're going to have this hoe talk about dykes. All right, Steve Irwin here. I came across this magnificent igneous thing in this rock. I had Dr. Richards when I went to Sierra College back in the day and he taught me about these beautiful things. This is magma. And what happens is in the desolate wilderness, the magma comes up through a small crack in this granite and it shoots through and solidifies. And it's called, ironically, a dike. But that's not the point. The point of this is a wonderful thing that happens in nature. And we are lucky enough to come across it today. I think you should put emphasis for the viewers that when you mean dyke, you're not talking about yourself. I'm not talking about myself, viewers. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, I'm so dehydrated. <laughs> but being that there's no water anywhere, well, I'm stuck. Well, Bear, luckily for you, there just happens to be a block of ice over there. Can you make it, friend? Oh, shit. <laughs> ah. Ah. Oh, Bear, I believe in you. Ah. Oh, my legs don't work. Ah. That makes no sense at all. <laughs> Moisture! <laughs> Bear, what do you think about ice? Fuck ice! <laughs> Jesus! Shit! <laughs> so you don't like ice? <laughs> Makes me want to shuffle. <laughs> <laughs> Every day she shuffles and let's see it. Go! Go, ho! Come on, shuffle that shit! That's right! You moonwalking, bitch, on ice! You ain't going nowhere! <laughs> Beluga fish uh, waste. waste. <laughs> I mean, keep it serious, people. It uh, is. Yes. But people use this to skate on and do shit because it's fun. I mean, look at it. What about those honkies that play with those sticks and black discs? What's that called? Hacky. Hey, what fags? Look it, I'm Patrick Marlowe. Oh yeah, you're not moving anywhere, that's right. I'm Patrick Marlowe. Exactly, you're not moving anywhere. Let's go. Let's go. So my partner found a penis rock <clears throat> shaped like a man's dong. Yeah, let me show you here. Oh, look at Look at that. Shaft balls. All right, now as the Eskimos used to do back when anybody cared about them, they used to drill a hole right in the center with sticks and other tools. But do you see how ineffective that is? Look, oh, I do see that, Bear. I see how ineffective you look are ineffective at everything in life. It will take me hours, if not months, to crack the ice. And I need food now. So what so do you propose we do? I like to take a big rock and smash the shit out of it. 
Good call. Much more effective. Not really. It didn't do barely any damage. All right, so I have a personal message to send out. This is to Jose Luis Ortua, my father. I would like to show him this. Look, Daddy. This is what global warming does. It cracks the ice. Look at what it does. How do you think a polar bear is supposed to get from this ice block oh, to this ice block? No, it's going to drown instead. That's why all the polar bears are dying, because the shit is melting. All right, so we're here at our first pool. As you can see, it's the freshest water you've ever seen in your life, right? Right. Right. So, this is usually where uh, endangered baby bullies would reside. We are looking around. No, no sort of life whatsoever. We're going to continue forth. But how are we going to get to run this massive waterfall? We're going on bear hunt. Going on the bear hunt. What do we see? What do we see? This giant ass waterfall. This giant ass waterfall. In front of me. Can't go over it. Can't go over it. Can't go under it. Can't go under it. Can't go across it. Can't go across it. We'll have to go around it. We'll have to go around it. Let's go. Go. Yeah. 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 Let's go. All right. Bear's going to show you how to slide down. A gnarly patch of ice. Now, if you remember from last season's episode, episode one, South South Lake Tahoe, <laughs> check it out. Um, you will know that we're all about conserving calories. That's primarily what we're out to do. So right now I have made a sled. It's about good. Uh, 40 feet. But, if I don't have to walk it, you know my lazy ass damn near won't. <laughs> so I'm going to slide on my rucksack. Rucksack! And we're going to make it down there. And Let I haven't hope. tested this yet, so I hope I don't die. Alright, get to it. I'm next. If you survive, I'll Ready, do it. Ready, set, die. You should probably just do it on your ass. Oh, uh, I might get wet. It's fine. We're going. The sun's out. Okay. <laughs> well, that wasn't very effective. You probably only saved about three calories. But our goal is usually from 10 to 15 calories in one fell swoop of a, a slide. Try it on my feet. All right, we'll wait for you to get back up the hill. You clumsy ass polar bear. All right, are you ready? So who's going to make an attempt I at the ice slide? Luge. There the hoe goes. I've never seen a hoe slide so far. That hurt really bad in my hands. I bet it did. It's cold, and the bitch fell. You're making America look like a fool, stand up! We're not from America! That's right. Now I'm going to attempt to be the POV camera and slide on my own ass and maybe I won't hit this bitch. I'll kill you. Here I go! <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Should I take the smoothest course? Steady as the beating drum. Should I marry Coco Wong? <laughs>
I don't understand why you always run away every time something's done. Every day I'm shuffling. And be the first girl to make me throw this cash We get mine, don't be mad Now stop, hating is bad One more shot for us, another round Please fill up, look up, don't mess around We just wanna see you shaking that Now you home Alright, we're on our journey back to the new location I'm about to make my way across this raging stream of Aquarius liquids <laughs> As you see, it's dangerous and deep. The proper technique for crossing a small log and or branch is to not go forward like so, because then you slip and you'll eat shit. <laughs> go towards the side and sidestep or strut. <laughs> That's across. ass. Strut your ass across until you've made safety. And we're out in the wild. <laughs> All right, Bear, show them how Tebow does it. All right, what I'm about to perform is called the sliding Tebow, <laughs> and it is popular within the pop culture. So I'm trying to give a shout out in reference to my younger audience, <laughs> Mr. Tebow Slide. And here we go. <laughs> oh no, Bear! Mr. Tebow doesn't always succeed first time around either. <laughs> don't criticize me. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Alright, we're here at Camp Sacramento. No, it's not Camp Sacramento, it's an abandoned pilgrim village. Right. No <laughs> one near Sacramento. Look, there's abandoned um, cabins everywhere. Um, more cabin tree going on here. We're actually standing on what used to be <coughs> a pilgrim volleyball court. Yes, they had that. Yes, they built they all of this with landed. their bare hands. They did. So we found it once again and have come back to visit and nobody's here. It's because the dead, because they ain't no food. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do some. I said it's because the dead. <laughs> there ain't no food. food. You got it. You get it. Now tell them. Do it. Tell them why there ain't no one here. Because they're dead, and there ain't no food. There ain't no food. And they're dead. Sauce. So, What were you doing in the no bear can? They put me in timeout. <laughs> Fuck that. Who put you in timeout? I'm the only one in here. Was it you? Was it? <laughs> Was it? What? All right, so we're here in this cabin. As you can see we have still found some civilization. Uh, there's really no point to any of this, really. I mean, we started out wanting to look for the endangered baby beluga, and it just... We never, We never ever found, it. found it. We never found it. And that led us to other journeys, and then, uh, we got too cocky and thought we'd climb some mountains that we actually could not. Um... They were just baby heels. Baby heels. But they looked big. They were. They are mountains. But the point, the point is... We are here, and we are ending our journey. We found civilization. We had food, nourishment, car. Bear Gorillas, you're better than us. Better than everyone. Not you, the real one. Oh. You're fake. Better than everyone. Not me. R.I.P. Steve Irwin. What a stupid bitch. Look at that whore, that little whore, the stupid leggings, acting like she knows what she's doing. 
What a stupid ball. She's not in the kitchen. It's not a kitchen for miles. Goes. Um, nom, nom, nom. Did you see that? Well, you see, the hoe got out of the kitchen, didn't bring no sandwiches. I had to punish her via red vine slap to the leg. Chris. I don't know if that's he hits her with five Twizzlers called his hand. Uh, to quote Drake, we uh, strung out on confidence, not fearing the consequence. Mm.